Hello everyone, Stuart here from Unbounds. Today I'm going to share my process with this time-lapse recording of me remixing this lovely person on the left here into the stylized zombie character on the right. I'll start by turning symmetry off on the mouth and repositioning one of the negative edits to create a droopy, asymmetrical zombie mouth. Then I'll copy that negative edit over and start manipulating different parts of the head. Let's also turn symmetry off on the eyes and get a nice, discolored, droopy zombie eye on the one side. I'll make that socket darker and greener too. You know, I want to make an exposed brain area on the forehead here, so I'll start by cutting some areas out with thin cubes and, and eventually a sphere. I'll make a copy of the head shape and scale that down and make it a, a bone color to create a, a sort of skull beneath the skin. I'll get the hair out of the way and modify the colors a bit while we're at it. We can go for a creepier nose too, I think. Let's lose that cone shape and carve in some nostrils. Also like the idea of a grayish, greenish zombie, so let's let's change up some of the colors here too. Now let's go for some surface detail and use some red primitives to carve out forms from the cheek. I love being able to do color and shapes all in one pass here. SDF edits are a really easy and intuitive way to get these types of organic effects. And next I'll use spheres for some bumps and detail. With the sphere selected, I can simply press the C key and quickly clone it across the surface of this little pool. Speed up the eyebrow as well here a little bit and lose some of the symmetry there. At this point, a lot of the shapes are feeling a bit standard and geometric, and I want to add, a, add some finer detail and get things looking more customized. I'll add a small dark red sphere as a negative edit and turn the blending fairly high. Then I'll use the same surface snapping and cloning technique and really break up a lot of the facial features with some small gritty details. It really sells the, the gross decomposing zombie look. The teeth are also a bit too perfect for a corpse, so let's roughen those up a bit too. You can add some color and just move and scale things around. Let's also make the mouth a bit deeper and darker. I wanted to add some additional color details here, so let's use some paint edits to drip some bodily fluids around. I like the look of that exposed skull as well, so let's let's add a bit more. You duplicate over a negative edit, get that into position. Again, the shape of this opening is a little too geometric, so let's break it up with some smaller shapes. The color transition is a bit too harsh as well, so I want to add some paint edits around the edges to add more color to the bony areas and ease that transition. Lastly, let's add some brains, right? I cut a big opening into the skull of the cube and use my handy dandy spline drawing tools to create this pink brainy shape. All I have to do is add a sphere, then hold Y, and I can click and a repeater is automatically created between the points. As with the other areas in the model, I wanted to use paint edits to break up the flat color and quickly add a bunch of additional details. The whole remixing process only took about a half an hour and it was a really fun and enjoyable experience. Sculpting with SDFs is really great for these types of organic models. Unbound has SDF modeling at its core. It's free to use and has been a welcome addition to my 3D modeling workflow. You can try it out for free at unbound.io. Download a copy, check it out, let us know what you think, and until next time, this is Stuart saying thanks. See ya!